Shoot him! Pull yeah. Do something! <laughs> don't, don't just aim! Shoot! Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. New day and it is a new escape room. Let me give you the tour. So we head up the stairs and I've put together a bit of a bar. Bar themes seem to be my thing. I quite like this one. Nice little beverage for the guys to taste. And my drinks as usual are on sale there. Now of course when you come in, the lock-in feature will occur, meaning you will be locked in. Hopefully you'll spot this door. This door is a keypad, four digits, and that will get you down to the escape room. Cool. So I guess this is escape room one, where you have to escape here by finding the code to the door to get downstairs. To find the code, you need only open the bedroom door, which is here. And on the wall, you have 6857. 6857, of course, been the code that they will need. Hopefully they can put two and two together. So we said six, eight, five, seven. Boom, we're in. So let's go down and have a look. So that door is obviously going to close behind you. And then we've got, I don't know, we've got to name that. And you can come through here, It'll jump as people will typically do. And you can see there's a prize room. All right, so we're going to pop this door open. That's a level zero, so that's a lock pick. You're required to lock pick in this puzzle trap room thing base. And so you end up in this room. So you've got doors one, two, three. Then you've got two shutters and you've got door six. Pretty suspicious, right? So what you got to do, and this of course avoids is unlike last week. If you didn't see last week's um, video, it's up in the top right of the description now. But unlike last week where they could just run and open the correct door, now work is required. So you hit that switch, which opens up this door. Once you come into the bathroom, if you're paying attention, there's a switch just over here. Put it up high so you won't spot it. And hitting that switch will open up, uh, well, well, you'll be able to see rooms four and five. Now you need to actually go and lockpick room six and look in behind the door. It's well hidden. And that is going to open up room four. Room four has the choice of switches today. So... One switch is going to electrocute you a little bit, shouldn't kill you. And the right hand switch, if selected, is going to open up the prize room. Lots and lots of goodies in the machine for anyone who can get this far. And then you step on the platform to exit. So let's meet our contestants. Alrighty, so here we are with our CCTV in base on floor one. The doors have closed behind this clown. Uh, clown, let's call let's call this one Krusty. Now Krusty is very interested in the piano. He's very interested in the whole base in general, of course, coming fresh out of 76. He wouldn't have seen a lot of this stuff. So he's kind of playing around and taking it all in, the decor and pretty much everything, but he's taking his time. He's gonna do work on that bench, he's gonna Check out the bar over here. We just want him to spot the door, don't we? We just want him to spot the door. But he's checking out the bar, I assume. If I remember correctly, I think he's um, enjoying a tasty beverage there. And who could blame him? Checking out the other work desk and we'll go and see if he... Ah, okay, he's going to go in. Hopefully he'll spot those numbers, the numbers that he will need to open the door with the keypad. The powered door, that's the, what I was thinking of. It's the door with the keypad. 20 minutes later. Oh, he's finally out. The sun is set and he's finally out. And I was kind of hoping he'd run to the door with that, but no. He's gone back again. Well, yeah, I guess if you stand up there, it's a good vantage point to see the code. You shouldn't be able to see. Oh, wait, hang on. This is a man on a mission here, guys. Oh, well done. Oh, fantastic. I was a little nervous that maybe I'd made it too difficult. Alrighty, so. This is the downstairs cam and Krusty is in. Hopefully he's picked up those lockpicks there. And he's up against his first lockpick challenge. Come on, the Krusty. So it's a, all the lockpicks um, in this um, escape room are 
level 0, so very easy to pick. Alrighty. Just, so you've got a little pressure plate in there he needs to stand on to pop open door 1 and to get things going. Ah, there we go. Like that. No, yes. Krusty's in. Krusty's in. Let the games begin. So Krusty's having a good look around now. Well, actually, Krusty's not really having a good... There we go. Krusty's now having a good look around. So not going for door number three. Can't use door number two just yet. And six is kind of pointless. Six will open up four, which is behind the shutter. But six also has additional lockpicks if he needs them. So there is that. But for now, really what we want to see our contestants do is to... Uh, to pick door number three. Oh. Attention, citizens. Nuclear, strike nuclear strike imminent. You gotta wonder in the mind of a new player. Is that a scary thing? It's like, damn it, have I just been trapped in here? And there's a nuclear... Should I, should I fast travel out? Should I stay? I mean, the sign says prize room right there. Prize room. Look at me turn off the light. Look at me turn it back on. Prize room. There's a prize. Screw the nuke. All right, he's just figured out that two, and in fact, doors like that in general are not pickable. Now, door number one didn't close correctly. The pressure plates do that sometimes. So he's managed to work his way back in, and uh, he's headed up back upstairs. But of course, that power door should have closed right behind him. And yeah, he's just figured that out now as well. All right, come on, Krusty. Yeah. Now he's got to really give it some thought. What are we going to do with this? We've got three lockpicks, plus whatever he had in his inventory anyway. He has at least three. He's going for door three. Let the games begin. Pop that open. He did, he did okay when he was uh, lockpicking his way into one. And he's done okay going into three there as well. Okay, so he's in. He's looking at Bob. That's Bob the Snowman. Uh, named from our previous episode by our viewers. Alright, so he spotted that door 2 opened. He's made his way to 2. He's not... Oh, he is. He's lockpicking. So, that's good. That should... I think the only door he has left to lockpick now is 6. But if he pays attention and he heads into the bathroom of 2... And he looks all around, he'll spot the way to open up the first set of shut the first shutter. Set of shutters. The first in a set of shutters? I well he didn't. He didn't spot the switch, so now he's like, okay. So I've popped open two and I've lock picked my way into a bathroom. That was kinda silly. So he's back to say hi to Bob. And uh I think he's gonna go for six. Yes! Six. Come on, Krusty. I hate the lockpick animation in this game. There we go. He's into six, so he's going to be facing a vending machine that's uh, distributing lockpicks. There are three in there for zero caps, then three for one, then three for two caps, then three for three caps, and it continues to escalate a lot. So he's having a look in the machine, but of course that means... Oh, and he's purchased the caps. Well, he's taken the zero caps. The zero... The three caps for zero. The three lock pins picks for zero. Wow. What's wrong with me? But of course, he's missed the switch there. So he's missed the switch in six. And he's missed the switch in the bathroom of two. So all he's established so far is door three has a switch that opens door two. And the rest makes absolutely no sense. And until you find a switch, it won't. And if you find the switch in door six first... It won't make sense either because that's opening four, but you can't see that because it's behind the shutter. So we really, really, to, to encourage him so he doesn't give up hope and just, um, you know, fast travel over to the Overseer camp or Vault 76. We really want him to at least pop open the shutters using the switch from the bathroom in two. Because at least then he feels like he's making progress. I hear a vulture, I think. He's taking his... Oh, there we go. He's got it. Okay, he's got the shutter. 
Krusty, look. To your left, Krusty, to your left. Whoa, he's just bouncing around there. Wow. Hmm. So that should help encourage him. Okay, so I'm not just trapped in this useless uh, room, but if I pay attention and I do things right, I make progress, and now I'm ever so closer to that prize room. But of course, he's running out of things as well. Okay, so he's closed to. I guess he's trying to relearn what the switches do because he's come across a vast amount of them at this point. So many, in fact, it's really hard to memorize. The one in two, the, sorry, the one in three that opens two and the one in two that opens the shutters. Memorizing those is it's going to be tricky. All right, he's got two open again. He's getting the gist now anyway. He knows that there's switches hidden about, right? And he's starting to flick them to figure out what they do. Do they have a, perhaps they have a dual function? I think he's given this one some thought. He must be checking the, yeah, okay. Okay, so he's established that's the one that controls the shutter. Up it goes. And so hopefully he's putting it together. When I opened three, there was a switch. When I went into two, there was a switch. Now there's also room six. So is room six the odd one out? Or is there a pattern here that every room that I seem to be able to lock my lock pick my way into has a switch? Because that's the theme here. Any door that has a zero lock pick requirement has a switch behind it. But six, of course, is, is the most brutally hidden one. You really have to be looking for switches. And I hope that's what two teaches you. Like when you go into three, the switch is right there, like just to the right of Bob. But when you go into two, you have to turn around and look just above the door. And so if you do that with six as well, if, if you think of that difficulty level that a switch might not just be in front of me, then you should, in theory... Um, there's two again. There's two again. I think, though, you know, he sees the two closes and then he runs to check four and five. So it feels like he's trying to see if it has a multiple, uh, multiple purpose. You know, one switch might close one door while opening another. I wonder, is there any way to make them do that? Because that would be fun. You could have all sorts of fun with that. So we've gone down to six again. So he doesn't ever get beyond the machine. He must be considering the next level of purchase, which is one cap for three lockpicks, although he purchased three. Oh, well, that's good. If you close the door and you turn around, you should spot it. And he has. Oh, he spotted it. We're good. It's game on. Pick a switch, any switch. He's done it. He's done it. Well done. First contestant in, and he already gets through. I'm feeling good about this, um... I was going to say puzzle room. About this escape room. Oh! Ho oh, ho! Quite a scare. Quite a scare, this smoke seems to have scared him off just a little bit, but that's fine. Enjoy those winnings. Enjoy everything. Well done, sir. Well done, Krusty. Bring on the next contestant. We have a duo that's made their way down here today. Look at this. We have Krusty 2. We've got to come up with a better name for him. And we have... I don't know what to call that dude either. Come on. Let's call him Homer and Moe. Staying with that same theme. So, Homer the Clown. And Moe the Detective. Yeah. Alright, so. We have a detective in the house. And that's certainly going to help things. Because... There's quite a bit of detecting to do, if you don't mind me saying. So, one and two are useless to you right now. You need to lockpick three to open two. Two 
will open the shutters revealing four and five and you need to lock pick six to open four. Four will give you a choice of two, the right one opening the second set of shutters to your prize and out. Ah, did you remember that, Detective Mo? So Mo is picking door three here, which is a good start. I feel like he heard me. I feel like I got through to him. So, okay, so he sees Bob. Bob's like, hi, Mo. Hi, Homer. And they're like, yo. And so there's the switch. Okay, so that's open too. Oh, oh, so oh, looks like Homer's oh, out to check no, it out. Oh, before Homer... I love the robot says that. Everyone appears to have died. Before... Oh, there we go. Hey, turn around. Okay, so Mo closed it before Homer could see it. Homer reopened it, but Mo ran completely past it. Homer has gone back again and completely missed it too is open. Oh, don't... Hey, leave Bob alone, dude. Okay, so we've found the lock pick. Oh, Mo's spotted two. So Mo's in through two. Come on, Mo. And Mo's going to get that lock pick in there now while Homer just... I don't know what Homer's doing. He has a fierce problem with Bob is, what, is what's happening there. Okay, so one of them, one of them must spot. There we go. Well done. I think that was Homer. Or was it Mo? No. Oh, he's not going to see it in time. I don't know if one of them flicked it on and the other flicked it off. Or, or if it was a double flick. I don't know. But they had it. And, uh... Hello. They had it, but they didn't spot it. And so it's the worst thing you, that can really happen. You flick a switch, and you don't know what you uh, flicked it for, or flipped it even. If you flip a switch, flick a switch. However you want to put it. it just, this guy just loves smashing my base up. And this guy here is just... Look how high I can jump. Hey, hey, Homer, look how high I can jump. Look, Mo, look how high I can jump. Oh, wow, that's very high. Okay, we should try and get out of here. Okay, Mo. Is he still jumping? No, come on, let's get to work. So you got two. You know there's a switch in two, guys. No one's established what that switch has done. Should I start putting fake switches in bases? Maybe I should. Okay, hang on. Does Homer spot that? Homer spots that. Look at that. Okay. Now we're making progress, all right? So we've just got four to go. Now remember, the switch to four is hidden at the back of six in behind the door to the right as you enter. Now, what? something tells me that these two are communicating. They're like in a party chat. Look, Mo goes in and says to Homer, okay, close this door. Homer closes it. And he's thinking that, again, you know, there's a duality to that switch that as the shutter closes, maybe the door opens. And I wish there was. I wish that it was that complex that I could build it in. And perhaps it is, and I just don't know how. Um, if you know of a way that... When powering down one door, that will power up another. Please do let me know in the comments. I'm very, very curious. I would, have, I would have loads of fun with that. In fact, I'm thinking of building in a, a bonus door with bonus presence that requires two players to do it. You know, one, one has to stand on a pad in a room the opposite side of that door that will hold the door open and a second player would have to go in and claim the prizes sort of thing. Little things that have been in my head. And Homer's just trying to destroy the escape room as usual. Right, there we spot. I don't think... I don't think we've made any progress spotting it. They might need... A little help here. This has gone on for quite some while now. So now Homer's like, hey, close the door on me. Maybe it'll open if I'm standing here. And Mo's like, all right, let me close two as well. All right, so all the power is down here now, Homer. It, do you have anything? And Homer's all like, nope. So he's like, okay, I got to open. At least they know the doors now. Look at that. You know straight away, pop that. That'll open two. Pop that, and that'll open the shutter. And this is as far as we've gotten. Stop hitting my signs. All right. Something's going on here. Nope. Still no. We're going to have to uh, lend a little hand here. Let's see if we can get that switch. Boom. Alrighty. So next time those shutters go up, the door will be open and they'll think, oh, I wonder how we did that. 
Must have been a combination of the switches. Well, you know, I didn't have another hour to wait around, so... It's, um... I really want to empty the vending machine so I can fill it back up again. Now he's got to make a choice. Nope. Homer's going in for a look. It was the wrong choice, but that's fine. Totally safe. Mo's, uh... Mo's fine. Oh, he's taking a... Taking a few shocks there. He's got the door. He's got the door. Oh. Mo. What is it with this guy and switches? Just gotta get back in now and try both switches again. Which one? I heard a noise. Nope. Whatever one he hit, it wasn't the right one. We're still waiting. He's got it. He's got it. Nicely done, boys. One of you turn around and look at it. Has anyone... <laughs> Come on! It's right there! There's even a dude pointing at it! Homer! Does Homer see it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Homer sees it. Oh, uh, fair play to Homer. Fair play to Homer. If that was me, I would have left him trapped in there and I would have emptied the machine. But Homer's like, come on out, look what I found. Alright, Homer's, Homer's checking the pad and Moe's checking out the shop. Now, fair play to these boys. Um, Moe's purchasing away there, we can hear, but he's not slamming that button, grabbing everything. You can tell he's being very, very, very selective as to what he intends. So he must be leaving some stuff behind for Homer. He's taken, I guess, what he deems to be the best for a player of his level, which was 17, I think. I don't remember. And uh, he'll leave whatever's left for Homer. That's, that's fair. Ching. Ching. It's up to five now. Six. But yeah, we'll kind of... We'll leave them to that, I think. Um, it's Homer's turn here. So see, he backs up. That's really nice. And now Homer can get taking his items. There's quite a few left for Homer anyway. I heard that bing, 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 bing going on for quite a while before my machine was completely emptied. Which is what we need. You know, I'm... I'm over encumbered all of the time anyway, and my stash is full. This is a fantastic way for me to clear out my stash while helping out other players, so... It's win-win, guys! Whoa! Come on, Homer. Ching, 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 ching. Homer's taking his sweet time as well. Just take everything, dude, and get out of here. On your bikes, guys. Alright, they look done. Well done, guys. You left the door open. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> Bye, Homer. And there's more. Bye, Mo. It's all quiet here, and here's Keanu. We'll call him Keen. Kino. Kino. Here's Kino. Kino's in, he's checking out the fancy light. It's the only thing illuminated in the room other than the letters. So, of course, he was attracted to it right like a moth to a flame. Sees that little gift there in the center, center-ish of the room, but he has no interest in that gish. <laughs> what? In that gift are bonus lockpicks. And uh, I put some food and water in there as well. Wait, I don't know. Maybe he took something and not something else. I can't tell. All I know is he's going for six. Six is... Not the door you want to see someone go for at the start. He'll find the the machine, brilliant. Um, but he's not going to find the switch. And even if he does, it's not going to tell him much about, well, what's going on, you know? So that can, that can kind of discourage a player. It can. So he's got six open. Fair play to the man. Go on, Keen. Kino? What was I calling him? Keen. Kino, Kino, go on, Kino. All right, he's not even bothered with it. Now he's just going for door three. All right, he's straight in. Wow, well done. So there's Bob there to greet him. Bob greets all our contestants when they first open up a, an important door. Three, of course, has been pretty important because, boom, we've got two. Well done. Okay, there you go, yep. And now he's got to pick his way into the bathroom. No hesitation, he's just, he's going for it. This is the third and final door he needs to lockpick. 
and he's in now. Will he spot the switch? No, he doesn't even walk into the room. He's very, very, very... I, I, big hesitation. Hesitant, I guess. He's very hesitant. Leaf? Why does everyone want to hit Bob? Okay, so he's having a look at six now. I thought he was going to jump up there and have a look around, but... Nope, he's back up in three. Six. Okay, he's close six, so I think he got a switch there. Of course, that's not going to tell us much. It's not going to tell us very much at all. Because he hasn't got the shutters open. But he's, he's taking the challenge on. So he's going to go two again. He's going to check out four. He knows that there's hidden switches now. At least I thought that he knew that there was hidden switches now. It actually doesn't look like he does. I hear a vulture. You got this. We're going to two again. Yes! All right, we got the shutters. We got the shutters. Okay, and he's got four open. Oh, this has gone very well. Was not expecting that so quickly. I thought maybe he'd left them closed, but no, he, he, however many times he hit the switch, it was clearly an odd number. So he's having a look around. Switches are behind you, buddy. Oh, he's triggered the, um, I forget what they're called. He's triggered the electric thingy mabobs. Not like Bob the Snowman Bob in three, but like a thingy mabob is in like a random thing, but in this case, an electric thing, therefore referring to what I'm pointing out in four. He's very hesitant. And is a übel good gemacht and so, and auch richtig lustig, wie du mich nun trollst, okay? Alles schön und gut, aber kann ich hier auch irgendwann wieder raus? Ich möchte gerne weiter zocken. I'm not sure what that was. I'll have to get that translated. I'll draw translation up on the screen. He's through. Yes, well done. Well done, Kino. No, Kino. Kino, Kino. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, poor Kino. He hit both switches. It says pick one, Kino. You're only supposed to pick one. Look at his body bouncing around. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wow. That was just... That was completely on... We're not done. No, we're not done. That That is just destroying him. Come on in, Tom. So Tom's through the first obstacle. And Tom's in. Welcome, Tom, to the escape room. Please make your selection. Three or six. Three it is. We're off to a good start. Quite happy with that now. Tom seems happy with that. I'm happy with that because Tom's happy with that. And three is up. I say hi to Bob, Tom. We have, a, of course, a, a smoke obstacle active today. And that, of course, makes... The camera work a little tricky. All right, so he's gone in to two and he's going to lockpick his way into the bathroom. Let's see if he spots the switch to open the shutters to reveal doors four and five. Well, he's gone in, so that's a plus, and he's come out. And so I guess we're going to go for six then, by all means. Come on, Tom. Did I call him Tom? I'm pretty sure I did say Tom. We're going to go with Tom. Whatever I said his name was when he came in. If it wasn't Tom, then that's not his name. His name is Tom. Come on, Tom. Oh, Tommy boy. This has taken him the longest. I mean, he was through three and the bathroom at two quite quickly. But he's quite... He's in. He's in. But will he spot it? Because he didn't spot the one in two. 
the bathroom or two, which requires you to to just assume every switch will not be like right in front of you at eye level. So okay, he's gone back to three. He's close to. Does he realize that? I don't think he realizes it. I think he he forgot what what the switch in three did. We'll find out now. He scanned the whole room, so he's going to flip it, and I assume scan it again. Oh, he sees two. Okay. So this is confirmed to open two. And now he sees... Okay, so he's done his, he's done his homework there. He's been looking around. Fair play. And now it's just finding the one at six, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, it's on. It's on. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Duck and move, Tom. Duck. Oh, look at the blood. Look at the blood. Duck and move, Tom. Oh, this guy's out for blood. Like, literally, look at that blood. More blood. Oh, my God. There's so much blood. Come on, Tom. You got this. Duck and move. Shoot him. Pull it. Do something! <laughs> Don't just aim! Shoot! Oh, he's down. Tom is down. He was doing so well. I'm sorry, Tom, my friend. I'm sorry, man. You nearly had it. You were doing so well. Wow, this guy does not like Tom. <laughs> oh, look at this. Poor Tom, man. He was doing so well. I mean, come on. Whew. All right, looks like our boy is about to fast travel out. No interest in what we're doing here. No way. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Tom's back. Oh, he looks menacing and quite intimidating there. Unfortunately, his assailant has uh, has fast traveled out. But look at Tom; is it's a new energy in him. Tom is just Tom is just out to solve puzzles today. You know, he's not going to be held back by being brutally murdered by a firefighter. Now he's just right back to it. He's trying to keep a, keep his memory fresh. You know what exactly. What was I doing? What did these switches do? Where is that guy? Where is that guy? I'm gonna mess him up. Tom is losing focus. The energy is still there. Oh. I think he's still looking for the firefighter. Oh. He's waiting for him. Tom is setting the ultimate trap. I don't think this is going to work out so well, Tom. I think he's gone. I don't think he's coming back. We should really, really get on. Thank you. We should really get on with this. No, nope, he's... He's really annoyed at what happened. I mean... Just... <laughs> wow. He got annihilated, like, with that... That handmaid. But, wow, he's like... He's been resurrected with so much energy. You just can't stop this guy. He's just, he's like barely stood still except for when he was setting that amazing trap. Um, he, he just hasn't stopped moving. He's just buzzing around. Buzzes, buzz, look, okay, bang. So he's again figured out that three opens two. Two, I wonder does he remember handles the shutters? Oh, he's closed the door behind him, so. Oh, that's good thinking actually. Maybe there's something hidden behind that door. Why don't we apply that same line of thinking to six? That could help us. I think we're onto something here, so we know that that's the shutter, and we're starting to look behind doors. This guy's just not giving up. All right, come on, you got this. I believe in you. Please don't close two again. Okay. Okay. Do not hit, oh my god, he hit Bob. Do 
Do people think Bob is a piñata or something? He's really, really, do not close the shutter. Please don't close the shutter. Good. Okay. So he knows that, okay, this does the shutter. So there's no point in me closing it because if I close it, then I'm going to have to open it again. And so where's the point in that? Okay. So we're back down to this corner again. We'll probably do a jump. No. Okay. We're not repeating the same mistakes. Okay. So let's explore six. That's some fine thinking. No, nope. let's not. Let's go jump. No, nope, we're not. We're going to hit the door. Then we'll go jump. Okay. And you close the other door. Cool. I guess that's something. Okay, so he's checking in behind the shutters for switches, I think. Again, that signals some, some progress. No. And we've gone backwards again. Did he just... Do you know what? Hang on. I think he's trying to hit the switch and then run in before I can get down, right? I knew it. Look, look, look. No, but that's a cool idea for a future one as well. That's not bad at all. But again, I just don't think we can wire it that way for it to matter. Like when that door's down, then the other door's up kind of thing. Or the other door's open. But fair play. He is thinking out of the ordinary. But really, six is, six is the only thing he hasn't really found anything in. So six is the curiosity. Six is the one you want to be paying attention to here, buddy. I feel like we're just going in circles here. Does he have it? He's gone sprinting. He gets it. He gets it. He gets it. All right. Bob, we're going to need you to pick one here. You've had a long day. You've already died on us once. He's off again. Bob is just full of energy. Yeah. 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 All right, Bob, are you ready now? He's worn himself down. Pop. All right, he's out of there. He got he got a few smacks in the face there, I must say. That's not got a... Oh, another smack. Another one. A double whammy in the face right there. All right. He's... Oh, another one. This thing does, like, knock down your health significantly. All right, all's looking well there, so we can claim... Wow. You know what? If anyone deserves those rewards, it is you. Congratulations, sir. I've forgotten the name I've given to you. So, sir. Oh. He's gone for a spin around the back. I don't know if you can purchase items from behind the machine. All right. Well done, sir. Well done. How did you find it? Ah, oh, big thumbs up. Thank you. Next contestant. This is Sheila. Sheila's also ignored my present. I'm not sure why. Sheila's got her gun out. So Sheila feels threatened. It's probably Bob. Bob is like, Bob says the craziest things. Could be Santa too, on the roof, saying everybody's died. Could be any number of things. I'm not quite sure what's freaking her out. If you are not satisfied with your See gift, what I mean? It could be that. unit is not authorized to make exchanges. Please contact your closest Rocco customer service help. All right, so we're one in. Further. Inquiries. I don't think we have the switch for four yet, but let's pop three open. That'll open up two. Pop two's bathroom open, and that should give us the shutters. We already have six done. 
So really, it's just a case of finding the one in six, and we're going to be golden here. That's Bob, yep. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> All right, we have two. She's got her back to it. Did she spot it that time? Nope. The door blocked it. Due to the hardened nature of this unit nope. exterior. Nope. Now she's looking action. at two, but Should she wasn't looking at it or didn't think to look at it. So you've really got to pop the switch again now. Let's have a look around. Don't don't hit it again. Just have a look around. There you go. She nearly ran back again. And now we've got the bathroom at two. So we've just got to get through here. See if she'll spot it. She seems to do a good thorough search of the rooms. So my money would be yes. But no, yes. Yes. Bingo. Bingo. We have four. This is the tricky bit. Most people struggle finding the switch in six. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be straightforward as hell. I mean, some kind of work is required. But she's doing her work. She's searching high and low there. Look. Fair play. This unit will not be Looks like we're moving to six, are we? To sit on nope. Yes. We yes. Apologize Up. For the inconvenience. Do we spot it already? Yes, wow, well done. Well done. Nope. Oh, no. Yes. That's it. Come out now. No. She got her back to it when she came out. Nope. What is she thinking will happen with the switch? She's looking away from four and five. I'm not sure why. I thought that was it. I thought this was over. I thought, well done, uh, Sheila. Well done, Sheila. But, um, no, Sheila's, you know, hit a light Where switch. Are my little and, uh, no, really. then turned it on and off and then ran out and wondered, why is the light off? Poor analogy, but you get what I'm saying. Suddenly, I think this is going to be more drawn out than I had initially anticipated. We're going to close the shutters, Sheila? Yes, we are. A move we've seen countless times before. We're going to open the shutter, Sheila? Yes, we are. We're going to close the shutter, Sheila? No? Okay. We haven't gotten that bad yet. Okay, a few jumps here and there. Let's, uh, let's give Six some thought again. No? Yes? No? 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 Accessing. Naughty. Nice. Parameters. Loading. I'm not sure what we're up to now. Uh, normally, I can at least try and ascertain the uh, the tr the train. Yeah, I'm so tired. The train of thought. Oh, two's closed again. But I'm just not getting this one. You know that that switch works too. You've opened it and closed it now, and you still run out and check four and five. After well, I can see why you would do that, but. Alright, so long as you don't do it again, I'll give up. I'll, I'll allow it. Why? You can't lockpick them. Perhaps that's the first time Sheila has tried to lockpick a powered door, so hopefully she's got that out of her system now and we can kind of push on here. Alright, we've, we found the light switch. Cool, light off. What do you think it does if you push it again, Sheila? Good, good, good. We're not going to find out. Great. So let's get... I don't even know. I don't... Come on, Sheila. You got this. She's doing quite a lot of exploring here now. Sheila, I got my money on you. I said it from the start. I thought you were going to see it through. You're so close, Sheila. You're so close. So, so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we see that that's number two. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, I like that. It's not... We're not rolling around blindlessly or aimlessly. She's like strategizing I'm, I don't understand the strategy but it seems to be working for her let's give her a little uh, little push push now oh, she just needs to get the shutters oh nearly spotted I was nearly spotted I think I was spotted my head's sticking out go invisible okay so we just need her to see the door 
Oh, here those are. Uh... Oh no, she's closed it. I just opened it for you, Sheila. The hell? Oh my god. I opened it again. Let's see if oh, she spots it now. Oh, 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 no. No, she Everyone uh... appears to have died. This is terrible. Okay, come on, Sheila. Come on. You see it? Yes, 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 yes. Complete. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what choice Sheila makes. I can hear the mole rats tunneling in. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. No, she's closed it again. Sheila, this is a this is a theme with you. Let's try the other switch. This yep. Unit is specialized in deploying the following morale initiatives. Cheer. I'm just running out of things to say about Sheila. And Jolly. Thank you, Sheila. Thumbs up to you as well. I just wish you'd not like when you flip a switch, just flip it once. And then see what happened. Don't turn it off again. Ah, what can I? What can I do? All right. So what I gather Sheila's trying to do here is because the current hasn't stopped flowing through that electric thingy, Bob. Uh, those mole rats are just getting ever further into my base. Like, ah. Uh. But she's trying to. She's turning off all the powered switches to see if that will turn off the electricity. That's what I've ascertained here. For the if she waits long enough, a mole thingy bob will probably chew down the prize room for her. Alright, so. She's closed it. She's confirmed it's closed. Now she's going to open it and see if there's any electricity there. And there is. Oh. Oh, someone's killed the mole rat. Thank you. It's probably one of the vultures. I would have let them keep going. That's how I would have got my way in. She's going to go for it. Boom! She's got her back to it. Got... Sheila, turn around! Oh my sweet Jesus. Where are my... Alright, so Sheila has spotted the exit and is just going to exit. Screw the shop, screw the reward, screw the prizes, I'm out of here. Next contestant. Uh, guys, I'd like you to meet Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants, this is the guys. So there's a present in the middle of the floor there for Captain Underpants, uh, including, uh, I think, two stim packs there. There's a few bottles of water and some food just to keep Captain Underpants going. So I don't know if he's deep in thought about this, if he's fixated on the number two or what is going on here. But I, I, I had great hope for Captain Underpants. He just kind of stormed in here out of nowhere. And I thought, this is the guy to do it. He's just going to go three, in through two, in through the bathroom at one, flip the switch, down to six, pop it open, in, grab all the presents, and gone. Well, okay, he's moving now. We, we have some motion. We have some motion. It wasn't exactly spectacular viewing uh, right there as he just stood still and fixated on the number two. You got this, Captain Underpants. You got this. Evaluating. Not the best when it comes to lockpicks, but he got it. Captain Underpants, meet Bob. Bob, it's Captain Underpants. And two Bob's right is a switch. He's completely missed it. He's completely missed the switch. I don't know why he's doing now. Dude. Okay. I 
I hear somebody coming. Hello, Ranger. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, that's Walker, Texas Ranger, and... I don't know, what would we call her? Well, fair play. Look, Walker's going to pop that door open. And... Mrs. Walker, Texas Ranger. There we go. I have no imagination at this hour. Okay, so Walker's in. Mrs. Walker is in. The spot of the present. He's left some for her. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Certainly. Well well done, Walker. All right. So we're to it. So she's already made her way to three. So we're off to a great start here. We're off to a fantastic start. This, by the way, will be the last group or person or people or anything. NP, no, anything ever in this escape room. This will be the last time that anyone will work their way through the escape room. I'm hoping that we can get that vending machine emptied before we go on to another escape room next week. Which uh, So we'll be ripping this place down and rebuilding, but with uh, higher, higher level players in mind next time around. So we're going to have to be a bit more imaginative and a lot sneakier to try and outsmart those players. So that's going to be fun. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you, and you do have the notifications on. So you do get notified when that pops up next weekend. So, Walker Texas Rangers checking out the store, but failed to spot the secret switch. That's unlike Walker, but it's happened. We just have to accept it and move on. So it looks like we're going to pop two open again, and we have. All right, so Walker's moving in. Mrs. Walker's in there as well. And, yeah, we're going to pop open the bathroom. So let's see if we can get those shutters up, which usually indicates to someone, hey, switches can be on this side as well. And if switches can be on this side, yes, well done, guys. Then maybe that's what's happened in six. That's what we want to see here. All right, so Walker's really, really given this some thought. Hmm. All right, Mrs. Walker, Texas Ranger. Has, I think, just made a dash, no, made a dash back. They've closed two. And established that's not it. So now what, guys? Now what? All right, we're in two again. Bathroom with two. Are we going to drop the shutters to lift the shutters to figure out that's what that does? No, we're not. Okay. So we've been in twos and it's bathroom. We've been in three with Bob and it's switch. Six is really the only place left to go other than just constantly trying to jump over that half wall. You just cannot jump over. All right, Bob. Sorry, I don't know why I'm calling him Bob. Walker's in. Walker's in behind the door. Walker spotted it. Oh, wow. Okay, four is open. Brilliant. That was really, really, really fast. And uh, Mrs. Walker, Texas Ranger, is going to be the one to make the choice. But Walker's closed the door. Walker, Texas, and she's got it. She's opened it. She's opened it. Well done. But Walker, ha oh, she, hang on. She's just triggered the trap. Oh my God, she's triggered the trap and she can't get out. Oh, Walker's opened the door, but she's dead. Walker, you've just killed Mrs. Walker, Texas Ranger. He's gone for a gander. Look at that. He's going to go for a quick look there. Fair play to the man. Fair play to the man. Whew. Wow. <laughs> He locked her in. She buzzed him. She buzzed the door open. She got electrified. And uh, Bob is left to claim all the goodies in the machine. Well done, Bob. That's uh, that's well played, sir. Well played indeed. So, guys, that pretty much concludes this escape room. It's the second one I've built. The third one, bigger, badder, and targeting higher level players is coming next week. But for now... If you like the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. A share is also greatly appreciated. Helps to get that video out there and helps me to grow as a channel. If you're not already subscribed, do consider that subscription to get notifications of videos like this and more going up on a near weekly basis. So I will leave it there for now. Thank you once again for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.